welcome to everyone who has joined us for today. My name is Tanya Bhatta Mishra. I study in class 12 in Max Sports School, Dwarka, New Delhi, and I will be moderating the first session of the day in this program by EduTV, It's a Matter of Principles. We have very special guests with us today, Ms. Anita Vijesh. Firstly, she is the principal of Delhi Public School, Bangalore South, and a luminary in the field of education. She is a British Council School Ambassador and on the board of assessors for the ISA. She received the Power of Women Award, an initiative by Lead India Foundation, with 108 extraordinary women who were chosen to create a world record and felicitated on March 8, 2021. She's a recipient for the Teacher for Excellence in Teaching, TAFIT, and received the honor from the former governor, Sri H. Badwaj, in 2013. She received the Global Teacher Accreditation Award instituted by the British Council UK. We also have Mr. Yasin Patel, who's an experience of more than 16 years in the higher education domain. He's working as Associate Director Admissions for Vidya Shilp University. He's an instrument in counseling more than 30,000 students in the past decade in India, in the Middle East and Thailand, and working for brands like Ajaykya, DY Patel University, Times of India, Times Pro, and IMS Learning. And as a passion, he likes to mentor, motive, and guide the students to choose the right career path in new age careers. It is an honor to have you all with us here today. The first session will be a session about the careers of the present and the future of careers of the present and careers of tomorrow. And with this will be followed by a panel discussion from the officials of Vidya Shilp University and UBS Mumbai. Moving on to the first session. A career is a vital aspect of our lives. It doesn't just provide us with a livelihood. It also gives us a purpose and a sense of direction. Society is constantly changing. So careers also change to be able to adapt to the shifting conditions of society. Taking phones, for example, just 50 years ago, the prospect of a phone that we could carry everywhere seemed bizarre. And yet now, due to the advancement in technology, which have led to the invention of smartphones, majority of our work is handled by our smartphones, which are essentially pocket computers now. And a career in tech and software is extremely beneficial. In the pandemic as well, over the last two years, one of the emerging industries has been that of mass production and also online meeting platforms because our study methods and work from home have become an essential part of life to cope with the unprecedented times. So considering how volatile and unpredictable careers can be, an important question arises. As time progresses and more advancements take place, how will the careers of today be affected and what new careers may emerge in the future? It is an important question, especially for our students to ponder because learning about the careers in the future and the future of present careers is crucial for us to be aware and to be better prepared for tomorrow. To help us delve into the topic, we have Ms. Anita Vijesh, ma'am, and I would now like to request her to share her thoughts and views with us on the topic at hand. When you talk about careers, yes, there has been a paradigm shift. Uh, you know, the careers that we thought of uh, what were probably, um, you know, uh, thought of in terms of numbers, what people or what children would definitely opt for. That has definitely uh, undergone a change. Today, you have uh, children who are specializing in various fields. I mean, I was amazed to know that when you take up economics, for example, there is the stream called welfare economics. I mean, you know, so it has diversified so much. The opportunities are a lot more. Uh, the only thing that I would talk about is when you're talking about any career, there is a basic requirement. Uh, and that when you talk about education, it's not just about content. You know, today you have to be uh, a person who has got this confluence of knowledge, skills and attitudes. So when you talk about any career for that matter, that is the first thing that you must think about. Second thing is about, you know, pursuing your interest, okay? Of course, you have to find out what is the scope of your interest, and then you move ahead in that category. There is a lot of exploration to be done, and I'm sure the panelists would have a lot more to, uh, you know, to give you in terms of uh, careers, because they're the experts. I'm also eagerly waiting to listen to them. 
Uh, can we please have Mr. I request Mr. Yasin Patel on board to please share his thoughts as well. Uh, thank you so much, Anita, ma'am, for your thoughts. Thank you so much, Tanya, for giving me this platform and a uh, quick introduction. Thank you, Anita, ma'am, for enlightening us with your view on uh, the most important topic, which is about talking about careers. Uh, one thing we should understand, and which is very important and critical for every child, would be migrating from a school secure environment to a university environment, there's going to be a lot of shift which is going to happen. Right. So this paradigm shift is going to happen where we both as an institute and a university need to play a role together in terms of making them informed and aware what are the new age emerging careers. What we have seen during pandemic, there is not a single domain which will help you to sustain and survive. You should have understanding about multiple domains to sustain and survive in the coming years. It was a research which was done by Dell Technologies, which uh, says that in 2030, the jobs which would be there, that 70% of that jobs do not exist right now. That means all the traditional existing jobs are going to die. There are new age emerging jobs and there will be more creative jobs which will be coming. For example, what we see is there's a mix of what we call as interdisciplinarity, which is very important for nowadays to make a, a career. There is always a decision making uh, grievances or what you can say difference of opinion between parents and kid. Parents want the kids either to become an engineer or a doctor. There would be a creative side what child would, would like to pursue and have an aspiration for. So this is a, a basically a fantastic platform when we talk about new age emerging careers which are interdisciplinary which will give them an option to have both for example if today any student is going for engineering program he can take his majors in engineering and his minors could be in any of the other disciplines it could be design it could be psychology it could be digital business he can choose what he wants to study that is a benefit what nowadays kids would have in coming future we should also understand which are the two domains which will help them to have a proper intersection of knowledge. For example, when we talk about data science, data science is extracting value from data. But who generates this data are we humans. So there is a human psychology which is involved in data science. When we talk about economics, economics is all about decision making with limited resource. But who takes that decision is we as a human. So there is a psychology which is behind uh, economics. When we talk about the digital business, it is about user-friendly UI, UX, the design, the apps. It is having a lot of influence by design. When you talk about design, it is all about look and feel. What we see, the pens that we use, the car we drive, design is all around us. It is to make human interaction more convenient, more simple. So there is a human psychology which is involved in design. So we should understand which are the multiple domains which will complement each other you have an aspiration what you like to do and you should choose that careers that will help them to grow over a period of time thank you thank you so much sir thank you so much for your insightful thoughts keep watching edu tv well i'm very grateful to edu tv keep watching edu tv keep watching edu tv शिक्षा के क्षेत्र की चीजों को जानने के लिए edu tv देखते रहिए i enjoyed being on edu tv and keep watching edu tv Keep watching Edu TV. Edu TV is a very important partner in this journey. I would like to express my gratitude to Pranav. I'm really grateful to the news and Edu TV. Keep watching 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 Edu TV. I encourage you to watch Edu TV. Keep watching Edu TV. Keep watching Edu TV. Keep watching Edu TV. Keep watching Edu TV. I officially acknowledge and thank Edu TV. Thank you. Uh, thank Edu TV. For Edu TV is doing great service. Edu TV is doing a fantastic job. I'd like to thank Edu TV. I would like to congratulate the Edu TV. I'd like to thank Edu TV. Edu TV is doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you, Edu TV. Just want to thank Edu TV. I would like to wish all the best of Edu TV. All the best, Edu TV. Edu TV has taken a good initiative. Thank, thank you, Edu TV. We would like to thank Edu TV. My name is Amara Yusuf, and I'm a student of class 11 from Delhi Public School, Bangalore East. I, today, on behalf of Edu TV, will be conducting this interview session. My name is Tanya Bhatta Mishra. I study in class 12 in Max Sports School, Dwarka, New Delhi. And I will be moderating the first session of the day. In this program by Edu TV, it's a matter of principles. I would like to invite 
Mr. Risha Komal, Senior Manager Global Programs of the prestigious Universal Business School, Karzad. I visited their campus. It's all awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Pranav. Thank you, Vedu TV.